beautiful. Here we go. All right, maybe standing on the back of that mat, reach your hands up overhead for me. Dive your hands right down to the mat. Hang there nice and heavy. Before you walk out, grab your opposite elbows and start giving yourself that nice little rock from side to side right here. Come back through center, release your elbows. Walk yourself out into that first plank. You're gonna give me a shoulder tap on each side, one push up, and then you're gonna walk yourself all the way back in. Roll yourself to the top, hands reach up overhead, take your time as you reach up, dive your hands back down, walk yourself back into that plank. You're gonna tap each shoulder, you give me one push up, and then you walk yourself back in. You're getting warm, so everything is gonna be nice and slow. Your push ups, stay on your toes if you can. I think most of you drop to your knees, but a lot of you are ready to progress for that first couple on your toes. Think about your elbows at the top. Like Lynn said, don't overextend. You're gonna keep that soft bend and then you're gonna walk your hands back in. In your shoulder taps, I need your hips to stay square. If you start rushing and rocking, it doesn't count. You stay down there and you give me two solid taps with your hips square. You're here for 45 more seconds. So really take your time as you walk out. You have those two taps. You give me that one push up. Option to just tap your shins. If you want to tap your shins and not stand all the way up, you can definitely do that too. But I want your shoulder taps controlled. Drop to your knees in that push up if you need to. And then you're going to walk yourself back in. Just getting that heart rate up. You've got about 20 seconds left right here. Walking all the way out. Controlled taps right here. That solid push up. Press all the way up and then walk yourself back in. That final 15 seconds right here. You're going to meet me standing. You do not stay in that plank. So I want you to get at least one more push up in right here. We finish in 10, 9, good, 8, and 7. Final 6 and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Meet me right in the center of that mat. Open your feet up nice and wide. If you have a neighbor with you, stagger because your arms are coming out wide. Don't pick your weights up yet. Take your body, shift all the way down. Find that beautiful wide second position. Take a peek at those ankles. Toes are pointing towards 11 and one. They're not all the way out. Give them that nice little angle. Now sink your butt down for me. I want your goal to be to get your thighs parallel to the mat. We started, so get down there. You're in your first hold with those legs. Extra challenge today, stay down low. Reach your arms up nice and wide. Walk them in a couple inches. Here we go, tiny little presses up. We did these yesterday. We've been doing them this week. How long can you keep your arms lifted? Do not grab those weights yet. You're gonna grab those weights and you're gonna regret doing it twice. Tiny little lifts right here. I want you to get tired, not holding weights. I want you to think how long and strong can I get those arms? Squeeze your shoulder blades. Pinkies are coming up at that angle here. You're not moving your legs. You are trying to stay nice and low and controlled. Belly is pulled in, tailbone is tucked under. No Beyonce's in this room. Tuck your tailbone. Give me those nice little lifts right here. You've got it. Tiny little squeezes up. Your elbows are locked out, not overextended. I want your pinkies facing up here. You've got 10, nine, good, eight, seven. Stay low in that second position. Legs are gonna get warm here today, four, Three, you've got circles here in two, final one, circle. Think about that little lift. Any hip issues, any knee issues, you're gonna come up a little higher. I still want a soft bend in your knees, but I want you to fight to get low right here. I want your legs to get shaky in that isometric hold, shoulders, triceps, every bit of your arms waking up right here. Five, four, good, three, two, reverse that circle, reverse it. Two changes left and you're out of it. We get to pick up some weight. Tiny little controlled movements here. Think about that little lift and that press back. Good, you've got 10, nine, eight. Can you sink a little lower? Are you trying to sneak up right here? Get down there. Five, four, good, three, two, hold on one. Bend, press, bend, press. You're gonna palm back, palm front. So pinky up. Thumb up, it's a tiny bend and press right here. Bend and press, bend and press, good. Reach and reach, nice and deliberate here. Waking up those arms, sink down lower in those legs. They should feel shaky here. Bend and press, it's a tiny bend and press. You are squeezing your triceps, squeezing that bicep. 10, nine, eight, good, seven, six. You've got this, five, four, three, two. Pinky up on one, little pulses to finish. This is it, add that pulse down with your legs. Get down there, 10. Nine, you've got eight more here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one first rest. Heel toe those feet in right underneath if you care for me. Start with that narrow squat, heels in, toes are out. You're gonna sink down nice and low for me. Squeeze to lift. You sink down low, squeeze. We're going back to those inner thighs, but I want your butt awake lower. Squeeze to lift with your squat. Start trying to get that booty past your knees or at least even with those knees, belly button stays pulled in here. If you need to open those feet a little bit wider, open those feet a little bit wider. You've got it. You've got three changes in the squat. We go back to that second position, lower, squeeze, lower, lift. Nice job, ladies. Those toes should be able to wiggle. Belly button pulls in right here. Can you add that heel up to the top? Lift your heels, lower, lift, lower, good, lift lower heart rate's coming up just a little bit it comes back down in a second so for this last minute right here i want you to fight to get your booty up nice and high get your heels off the mat and then you sink down low you're going to add three pulses at the bottom of your range right here so you come down you give me three two one squeeze three two one squeeze three two one big squeeze I want you flinging those hands back like you're Superman about to jump off of that mat. 30 seconds. Your heart rate's going to come up right here. If it's not up, get it up for me. Squat, three pulses, big lift, and a heel raise. If it's bothering your knee, you're just going to lift up. If you want to add that jump, my girls who want the cardio, you're going to jump instead of lift those heels. Jump, two, three, lift, lower, two, three, land soft. 15 seconds and you're out of this. I need you to fight right here. Get that heart rate up. Get those heels up nice and high. 10 seconds. That's it. You've got this down. Two, three, press, lift. Two, three, last one right here. Down, two, three, and you made it. Stand all the way up here. Open those legs up nice and wide. Heart rate's up. Give your legs a nice little punch. Second round, option to grab your weights for your arms. I'm not grabbing them, but I know some of you are so anxious to get them. Drive your tailbone down to that mat. Press your knees back. If you have weights, they just come to your hips to start. We're coming into those thighs. From here, you're gonna come down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. We're gonna add those arms in in a second. So if you wanna hold your weights, hold your weights. You're gonna come down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Lower squeeze, lift. It is tiny. Your focus is your inner thighs. Every time you pulse down, I need you to press your knees back. When we add those arms in, I still want you thinking, drive your tailbone down to that mat. Thighs are gonna come parallel. Some of you are down a little bit lower. If you are sore, you stay up a little bit higher. As long as you're working, pressing those knees back, driving your belly button toward that spine, tailbone down, 10 here, nine, eight, good, seven, legs should be a little bit tired already, final five, four, good, three, two, hold on one, lift your right heel up for me, 10 more pulses, 10, control this, no bouncing, press that thigh back, knee comes over that ankle, every time you press, six more here, five, heart rate's coming back underneath you, we're going to get it back up in a second, four, three, good, two, on one, drop that right heel, lift that left heel, 10 more pulses. If you have your weights, they're right at your hips. You don't have to use those arms just yet. Go 10, nine, eight, keep driving your tailbone down, pressing it towards that mat, pressing your knee back, five, four, we alternate those heel lifts here in three, two, hold on one, you lift your right heel, pulse, left heel. So you are not rocking, your center of that body does not move. All that is moving is your heel here. Watch your top half. You are not rocking in these. I want you to stay center here, pulse down, pulse down. You should feel shaky. I put you right from squats back to your second position. If you are tired, embrace that. Let those legs start to shake. Eight here, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, hold on one. Both heels lift, both heels lower. Lift, lower. My girls who wanted that traditional bar, Best part, second position right here. Think about driving that tailbone down a little bit lower, pressing those knees back. Your inner thigh should be on fire. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, on one. You lift those heels up, pulse it down. Two, three, full extension. Down, two, 
three, extend. If you need to, lower your heels down here and just keep moving down. Two, three, and you squeeze. The best part is you haven't even used those arms yet. You have two changes left before we add those arms in. I'm not fooling around today. Down, two, three, squeeze. That squeeze at the top is that tiny little break for you get to straighten those legs. Most of you have those heels lifted in your pulses and then you stand. Yes, you've got it. Three, two, three, reach. Two, two, three, reach. Last, two, three, and you freeze. Tiny little presses back on your knees. Some of you will need to drop those heels. Tiny controlled squeeze. All I'm doing is trying to wrap those knees back an inch. Eight, seven, and a hold. Six, five, four, three, Two, you hold, arms come back up. Some of you have weights, pinkies up. Here we go, second round, little lift, lift. Your legs are gonna be on fire here. If you need to stand up, shake them out, get down low again. Five changes in your arms, you're out of it. You do not do this again. Tiny controlled lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Most of you are advanced. You've been doing this with me long enough that I need you to go right past your comfort zone and reach those arms back. Keep those legs down. You've got this, eight, seven, six, Five, heart rate's coming right back up. Here we go, four, three, two, hold on one. This time, bend and press, comes before those circles. Bend, press, bend, press. If you have your weights, drop your shoulders down, belly button is pulled in. Can you sink a little bit lower? We're all starting to sneak up here. Bend and press, bend and press. You've got it, 10, nine, eight, seven. Nice, Kara, you've got six, five, four, three, two, on one, pinkies up, tiny circles. Tiny circles. Can you add a pulse in with your legs? Pulse and circle. Good. Watch your shoulders. They're going to sneak up. You're going to get tired. Roll them back. Eight, seven, six. Good. Five, four, three, two. Reverse it. Reverse it. Get those arms up there. You can do this. Get them up there nice and high. Reversing those circles. You're still pulsing. One change left. You're in this to win it right here. Less than 20 seconds. Eight, seven, six, and five. Good. Four, Three, two, hold on one. Lift your right heel, lift your left heel. Sink down one more inch for me. Good, little bend and press to finish. Keep your palms facing the back of the room. Bend and press. Let your legs violently shake right here. They're changing. 10, nine, you are seconds away. You've got this. Nice race. Eight and seven, six and five, four, three, two, one. Drop your weights down to the side. Shake your legs out. Give them a nice little punch. My girls who have a neighbor with them, you're going into a, a side, um, a wide lunge into a reverse lunge, so stagger. Meet me on the left, left side of your mat. Last little bit of legs before we go to those arms. You are gonna step out with that right leg, step out to the side, come back in to start. Nice side lunge, and then you come back in. I'm coming for those inner thighs. If you can't tell, inner thigh heavy right here. Lower, squeeze, lift. Extra challenge, you're gonna lift that knee at the top instead of setting that toe down. Options for everyone. You either tap that toe in or you lift your knee, belly button pulls in nice and tight. If you're lifting that knee, you squeeze that left booty cheek at the top and then you come right back out to that side. Lift and lower. These do not have to be fast. Your goal here is to think left inner thigh, right out of booty, yes. Nice, Madison. Here we go. You've got 10 more. 10, 9, 8, and 7. Final 6 and 5. You've got 4, 3, 2, on 1. Bring that foot in. Left leg. Reverse lunge on that left side with the knee lift. Lower and lift. If you need the modification, just tap your toe. I'm going to speed up a little bit. From here, you are either tapping your toe or you're giving me that big knee lift. Three changes each side. We just add them together. No pulses, no holes. Again, just burning out those legs before we come to those mats and use those arms. When you step back, I want your knee to tap, and then I want you to drive your knee forward, squeeze that right booty cheek. We're going back and forth here, so it's not ISO just on one side. You're going right leg into that left leg. 10 seconds left right here, we put it together. You have this. You have a set of push-ups in between, so your legs get a tiny little recovery before we go back into it. Final five, four, last change, and three, two, one, meet me standing. You give me one, lunge to that side, and then that left leg comes back, okay? So start by getting your foundation under control right here, 
and then add that knee lift in. So you're gonna drive that knee up, drop it down, left leg. Option to add that hop at the top. I know some of you want cardio. Your heart rate should be up right now. You should be starting to glisten. What I want you to think about is don't compromise your form here. You go from that right leg to that left side. Right leg into that left leg. You've got this. Right here, 15 seconds left, and you do not have another lunge once you get through that other side. So don't cheat yourself. Watch your lean here. Make sure you keep that butt even with your knee and you're not starting to shift. Five seconds. Get a couple more in. Four. Nice lift. Three, two, one. Meet me at the back of your mat. You've got 45 seconds of push-ups in between. Dive your hands down to that mat. Walk yourself out. Two counts down, two counts up. Lower, two, lift, for two, everyone does one on their toes. You can do this. Lower, two, lift for two. Lower, two, lift for two. 30 seconds left. Nice, Amy. Everyone, deep breath. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Thinking to yourself right here as you're doing these, belly button pulls in, arms come back at that arrow. You press all the way up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. I know your heart rate's up right here. 10 seconds, you are standing back up. We do that other leg, and then you get a break from your legs. So keep breathing right here. Think about your shoulders pulling away from your ears. Five seconds, you are coming into your plank to stand. Don't take that rest. You do not need it. You just want it. Three, two, find your plank. Lift your hips up. Walk your hands to your feet, feet to your hands. Take your time rolling yourself all the way up. Give me a nice little punch in those legs because we need to give this other side so much love. Walk to the opposite side of your mat. You're gonna go into that nice lunge. Now you're gonna feel this in your right inner thigh. Lots of beautiful inner thigh work today. Lower, squeeze. Option to start lifting that knee when you're ready to. Find your control, find that ankle and leg stability. Reach and lift, reach and lift. Do not cheat yourself here. When you're doing that lunge, watch yourself, ladies. You're stepping out, your butt comes even with your knee. What's gonna happen is you're gonna start to do this shift. I want you to really control this. Keep everything even, belly pulls in, shoulders are relaxed, and then you stand. You come out, squeeze to lift. I need you to squeeze right booty cheek at the top, left booty cheek at the bottom. You're going from side to side here so that your legs are really fatigued. You have 20 seconds left in these. We go into that reverse lunge. So think about how close you are to that finish. You're about a minute and a half away from it. Nice job. Big lift and lower. Final 10, nine, eight, seven. Slow it down if you need to. I want you to have quality over quantity here. Five, four, three, Two, one, drop that foot down, right leg steps back, reverse lunge with either a tap of that toe or you're gonna drive your knee up. Tap and lift, good, tap and lift. Think about this, one change left. So if this is your opportunity to start getting your heart rate up right here, lift that knee as you drive that knee up towards your chest as I should drive that correct one for you. You're squeezing those booty cheeks to the top, you step back, and you lift, step back, and you lift. Make sure you switch legs. You're stepping out with the left, stepping back with the right. You've got this. Final five seconds and we combo it together. Don't give up on it, stay. We have that combo move in three, two, here you go. You step out to the side. You can either drive that knee up or just tap it, step back, and lift. So remember, you're stepping out to the side. You bring that knee in, down, and then you go into that reverse lunge. Two different sides. Biggest thing for you to remember, step out with one leg, you step back with the other. I wanna confuse your body of what you're working here. 25 seconds and you're out of this. Think to yourself here, if you're losing your balance, step your leg out a little bit more to that right side in your reverse lunge. It should help you with your balance here. Slow it down if you need to. If your heart rate's up too high, find your control, find your breath, and think to yourself, you have 10 seconds left right here. You've got these. Do not give up on it. You do not have another lunge in this class. Second set of push-ups coming your way. You're gonna grab your weights before you go down so that your weights are on the mat. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, 
one, and you made it. Legs get a little bit of a punch. Quick break. I don't want you to really take a break. Go right into your push-ups here. 45 more seconds of push-ups. This time with your push-ups, you're going into a five count down, a release at the bottom. Here we go. Down, two, three, four, five. Release hands and feet. You press yourself back up on your toes or your knees. I do not care. I just want you to keep those arms warm. I know your heart rate is up right here. 30 seconds to go, and then you can grab your weights if you didn't have time to bring them down. Don't miss this. You've got it. Nice, Kara. Olivia, perfect. Tuck that booty under a little bit more for me. Nice, Jordan. You guys have 20 seconds. Beautiful, Mads. Think to yourself as you're doing these, are you breathing? Yay, I just saw Erica. Keep fighting right here. Final 10 seconds in these, and you are done with these push-ups. You do not repeat these. Five. Everybody get at least one more in right here. If you are not in that push-up, find it. Four, three, two, find your child's pose. You made it, you earned a rest. Open those knees up nice and wide. Press your seat back, reach your hands forward. Nice work, big inhale, exhale, reach forward. Good, big inhale, exhale, reach. Nice job. From here, you're gonna meet me Indian style on that mat as we go into those arms a little bit more. Grab your weights for me. I'm like, where, where am I ringing? Grab, grab your weights and open those arms up nice and wide. Sorry. I'm like, why can't I decline that call? Grab your weights and pull them in. Elbows come right under your wrists for me. I'm gonna move this up so you can see that beautiful face of mine. Here we go. You are gonna reach out, pull in, reach and pull. We're going into biceps right here. So think to yourself, your wrists, they never come above your shoulders. Also, it's always like my mom or my best friend who calls at 10, as if I haven't been teaching this since March. Reach and pull, good, reach and pull. Pull your belly button in. Now is when your heart rate's starting to come back underneath. You've got it. Reach and pull, reach and pull. You've got two sets in your arms. We're gonna go into your triceps after we finish biceps and shoulders. We go into your abs after that. So find that nice deliberate movement. Squeeze your weights as tight as you can as you're squeezing your bicep to come out and in. Good, reach, pull, reach and pull. Go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and you hold those weights out. Final four, three, two, on one, hold here. Tiny little bend press, bend press, slow it down, bend press. Good, 10, nine, are your shoulders pulled down your back? Is your belly button pulled in right here? You've got this tiny little bend and press. Every time you reach, pull your belly button in for me. Eight here, good, seven. Watch your shoulders, six and five. Control it slower, nice. Three, two, hold on one. We are circling with control here. Do not beat me. I want those elbows out there. So your arms are almost straight, soft bend in your elbow, but you are reaching. Watch your wrists here. Your wrists, wrists are not flopping. They are strong. Five, good, four, three, and two. Reverse it for me. Think to yourself, you should be able to see both hands in your peripheral right in front of you. So arms are not this wide. Everybody walk them in if they're too wide. Six, five, good, four, and three. Final two. Combo movement here. Bend, press, and a lift. Bend, press, and lift. You've got it. Ten, and lift. Final nine and squeeze. You've got eight more here and lift. Seven, lift. Six, make this deliberate. Five and a hold. Four, squeeze. Good. Three and squeeze. You've got this. Two and lift. Last one, just hold for me. Pull your belly button in. Squeeze your weights. Pull your shoulders down your back. Pull your belly button. Get your arms up there. You can do this. Five, four, three, two, right into a goal post. I know you thought a break was coming. It wasn't. Squeeze it in for two, press it out for two. You're out of your biceps. You're going into your shoulders. Here's where some of you might drop your weights for a second. I am always gonna cue you at the end to pick them back up. So if you do need to drop them, drop them now and then I'll tell you when to pick them back up. Hold your weights in, squeeze your forearms. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I can see you, five, four, three, two. Open up on one, you open for two. Close for two, open up for two. Shoulders are on fire here, six, and we hold them in. You can do this, you have two changes left. Five right here, you don't go into another set of push-ups, so finish this nice and strong, beautiful. Four, squeeze, press, 
out, three, squeeze, press, out, final two, you drop your weights if you need to, it's fine, I'll have you pick them back up. Now everybody squeeze your forearms in for 10, nine, eight, seven, you are barely opening them up, so you are squeezing, get rid of them if you need to, and just squeeze your forearms here for six, five, four, three, two, now you squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, these are hard. They're working your entire arm. You have 20 seconds to go at the 10 second mark. If you've gotten rid of your weights, I'm going to tell you to pick them up and finish it right here. Squeeze in and lift. Squeeze in and lift. You've got five and then you pick up those weights. Four, three. If you dropped your weights, get them here. It's your final 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight. Squeeze your forearms, lift up an inch or put your palms together. Five, four, three, two, one. And you made it. Rest. Yes. Bring that right arm across your chest. We're gonna go right into our triceps so your arms are on fire and then we get to come to our backs. Switch that opposite arm out here. I know some of you have some wrist issues. We're getting ready. We're gonna go into an all four for our triceps and single them out. You can always find your hinge and press that opposite hand over your thighs as you reach that opposite arm. If not, I want you in an all four position. If the weights don't feel good today, make a fist for me. If you wanna use your band, you use your band. Bring your weight to that right side. Yes. Now, before you do anything, pull your belly button in here. Your knees are right underneath of your hips. No full range movement. So bring that hand above your hips for me. These are meant to be hard. You're in your first hold. So get it up there. We're just going to chat through it. The second that you are feeling that shoulder scrunch or that hand isn't above your hips, you get rid of your weight. I'm going to have you pick it up at the end. Five seconds left in your first hold. You go right into your bend and press. You have this. We're going for shaky arms today. Three, two, little bend, press, bend, press. If you don't have a weight, you're making a fist. You squeeze your fist and then you extend, reach and reach. My girls who are double jointed are super flexible. Your elbow still stays facing the floor. You're not gonna overextend and wrap it. Palm faces up, bend and press right here. Six to go, five, Four, good. Three, two, tiny pulses up. You know, up an inch, down an inch. They are slow this week. Up an inch, down an inch. It is no shame if you get rid of that weight. It just means you're listening to your body, keeping your shoulder out of your ear. Nice. Think to yourself, up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Two changes left. You know this. You're fighting to stay in it a little bit longer. Hand stays above your hips. You are breathing here. Let's put those two together. You bend, press and lift, bend, press, and lift. I will have you pick that weight up for your hold. If you need to get rid of it, focus on your form. Belly is pulled in, bend and press, and lift. Bend and press and lift. If you're making a fist, squeeze your fist every time you press and you lift. You have about 20 seconds left. 10 in this, 10 in your hold. I want you to fight to stay in it. Let your arms start to shake right here. You can do this. Five seconds and you pick your weight up if you dropped it. Four, three, Two, everybody's got to wait. Palm faces the floor and you hold. If that doesn't feel good on your elbow, palm can stay up, but I want it facing down if you can. Hold eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that weight to your side. Come right to your left side for me. Take your top arm. It stamps right in front of you. Bottom arm, you can either hug your shoulder from underneath or over top but your hand is pressing into that mat and you're gonna hug your body, whether your hand's on top or the bottom, squeeze your legs together. Take a big inhale, lady, here we go. Here we go. Exhale, you press all the way up and then you lower down. Watch yourself here. If you do not feel these, walk your hand a little bit closer to you and lower to your chest, they get harder. Yes, the higher up that arm is, the easier it is. You are gonna keep pressing up lowering down until you feel like you cannot press yourself up. You have 10 more seconds. I need you pressing into that back, breathing as you lift. Final five, fight for it right here. Four, three, two, give me one more, give me one more, all the way up, and then come back into your all four, no rest. Weight comes into that left hand. Right arm's gonna be tired now, breathe through it. If you're hinging forward, place your hands on your quads. If you are not, soften that bend. Here we go. Lift that weight up above your hips and hold for me right here. Get it up there. What's your belly doing? Pull your belly in. I want you to think to yourself, you're looking at the edge of your mat. Do not look at your knees. 
They're not moving, I promise you. Here we go, a little bend and press. Bend and press. You are working towards the break. We finish these triceps, you get to lay on your back for a little bit. You get a break in those arms. You should feel a little bit shaky right here. You've been working hard. Get rid of your weight the second your shoulder's creeping. I can't see all of your shoulders. You have to trust your body that it's telling you when you need to drop it. Little bend and press, bend and press. It's also always a goal to see if you can get warm by being deliberate in that movement. Bend, press, bend, press. You can do this, bend and press. I want those sculpted arms all winter long. Triceps are the best way to see all of that muscle and that form. You've got it. bend and press, eight here, seven, good, six, five, four, three, here are those tiny pulses right here. You go up an inch, down an inch. So I don't want you with a fast pulse right here. You are thinking to yourself, up an inch, down an inch. Control that movement. Can you pull your belly in when you exhale to lift? Always exhale the hardest part of that movement. Find your control. You've got eight here in the combo. Seven, six, nice air for five, four, three, two. Everybody hold, you give me a bend and press, and a lift, bend, press, and lift. You have it, bend and press and lift. You should be on fire. No joke, if you're feeling like humbled right now that you need to drop that weight, get rid of it. I'll tell you when to pick it back up. Nice, Kara, a little bend and press, we lift. We've got five, reach, four. Everybody picks that weight back up in three, in two, on one, grab your weight, palm faces the floor. Squeeze your tricep as tight as you can. Pull your belly buttons in right here, 10. Nine, eight, you can do this. Get that arm up one inch higher. Watch your elbow, don't overextend it. Five, four, good. Three, two, one, lower down, come right onto that opposite side. Top arm, same arm you were just working. Stance in front of you. Bottom arm hugs that shoulder so that you're not getting any help from the bottom. From here, you are gonna take that big inhale, exhale, press yourself up, and you inhale to lower. I don't care how you're holding that arm, but the right arm does not help you. It's all of that left side right here. 15 seconds left in these. You are coming into ab work after this. Do not take the break, finish it right here. Final five, nice Olivia, four more. Three to go, everybody's getting two more in. Final two, on that last one, you are gonna come right into your forearm plank, hold. 30 seconds right here and then you're on your back. Hold, we're just getting those abs warm. Press into the balls of your feet. I know you wanna stretch those arms out. Don't do it yet. Just find that plank, press into the balls of your feet. Pull your belly button in. Think about bringing your elbows towards your toes. Breathe for me. On your back for a little bit, and then you go into legs. So arms get a break here. Just breathe, 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 breathe. 10 seconds and you're out of it. That was quick. Are you squeezing your elbows towards your toes? Eight, seven, nobody drops. Look right out in front of you. Nothing's happening in your feet. So don't look down at them. Four, three, two, one, rest. Find your child's pose. Nice work. Open those knees nice and wide. Actively reach to the front of your mat for me. Hold there for five. Take a big inhale. Now is the time to take a sip of water before we go into those abs. In three, two, one, come right to your backs for me. Oh, this feels good. For those of you who are out last night, I feel like this is gonna be your favorite part as you're on your back. Take a big inhale here for me. As you exhale, let that lower body, that lower belly fall into the mat right here. I want you to go ahead and interlace your fingers, which bring your hands behind your head. Go into your regular crunches for me. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. I want you to hold at the top for two seconds, before you lower down. When you're at the top, think about pulling your belly button towards that mat. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. That hold at the top is forcing you not to rush these. The biggest thing I've seen lately is that people wanna fly through these. I set you up with a basic crunch for a reason. I want you to think about what you're working here. Slower is better. Elbows are wide. As you exhale, you pull your belly button in, trying to lift one inch higher every time, holding at the top for a second before you lower back down. You still have a solid 10 seconds left in these. Get three more in right here. You're holding at the top, you lower down. Don't worry, we're gonna progress this and get you nice and warm. In four, you're at the bottom. Three, good, two, lower down. Reach that right hand up to the ceiling, float that left leg to tabletop. So left leg lifted, right hand lifted. Big inhale, exhale, reach past that knee, and then lower down. 
I want you to think about getting both shoulder blades off the mat. So this isn't just about a twist. It is about really reaching past that knee, waking up lower abs, starting to wake up your obliques right here. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale and inhale. You have energy coming out of those fingertips. Your hand reaches towards the ceiling and then it reaches past that knee. You have six more here. As we progress these abs, take your time. Find your breath and think about what you're working. Left elbow stays wide. Press your head into your hand. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Two to go. You stay lifted here on this last one. Give me little pulses up for 10. Good. Nine. One inch down. One inch up. You have seven to go. Final six. Hang in there. Five and four. Keep reaching. Three. Good. Two on one. Extend that left leg. Tap your ankle lower down. Tap. Lift. Tap. Lift for six. Lower, five, straighten that leg, four, good, three, lower, two, lower, last one, hand comes behind your head, drop that left foot down, lower your head, necks and shoulders, right shin is parallel, left arm reaches, we reach up, lower down, yes, this is basic, but think about what you're doing, your breath is going to help this get really deep into those bellies and those abs, think about your exhale, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, your right elbow is now the one that's out wide. Can you come up one inch higher? Both shoulder blades lift off of that mat. Six, lower, five. You should feel that warmth building. Four, final three, and you pulse at the top. Two more, no one quits. Last one, 10 pulses, 10, nine, good. Eight, point through that toe, shin stays parallel. Now is when you can feel that warmth building in your belly. Four, good, three. Last two, on one, extend that leg. You tap that ankle, lower down. Tap, lower, tap, lower. Good, six, you can do this. Five more, two changes left. Four, three, breathe, two, breathe. Last one, lower down, hand behind your head. Drop your head, necks and shoulders. Feet come flat. You reach opposite hand past opposite knee, rolling from side to side. Reach back, reach center good reach find that nice twist get both shoulder blades off of the mat as you reach right here ten and nine one change left eight are you breathing seven nobody is clenching their jaws because i'm the only one talking five good four keep reaching three last two on one come through center center crunches right where you started is where you finish these should feel different Elbows are wide, wide in those elbows. Get rid of all the air that you have when you lift up. Everybody give me a two second hold at the top. You're out of these in 15 seconds. You are holding at the top, pulling everything in. Lower, exhale, lift. You should be warm right here. Eight seconds to go and you get a break. Seven, six, do not stop until we get to one. Four, three, two, one, rest. Knees come into your chest. You should be warm. Break your knees in. Find that nice little rock from side to side right here. Perfect. You have three more seconds here. We go right back into more abs. In two, last one. Feet come to tabletop. Flex your feet right here for me. Bring your hands behind your head. Lift all the way up to the top for me. Bring your elbows in. You're going to give me 10 taps to your knees. Come into the tiniest little ball that you can. Eight and seven, good, six, and five, reverse crunches here, and three, good, two, last one, you lower down for two, tap your heels and your heads, and then you lift back up, elbows come wide, elbows come narrow, elbows are wide, and then they are narrow, reverse crunches are not easy, you have to breathe, you're going to want to bring your knees in further. Can you lift up one inch higher with your elbows in, as opposed to just bringing your knees in all the way? Come up a little higher. Your knees are staying at 90. So think to yourself, lower abs, upper abs. You're going to start giving me three pulses at the top of your range, and then you lower down. You pulse three, two, one, and you lower. Good. Three, two, one, and you lower, take your time. The faster you go, the faster you are not finished. Same amount of time, 
quality reps. Point three, excuse me, flex your feet so your heels are dropping. You lift back up. You give me three pulses at the top of your range. You can do this. 15 seconds left right here. 15 seconds, one more break, and you're coming into the end. So you got this. Everyone is breathing. 10 seconds left. I want you in the tightest little ball that you can get in, and then you tap down. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Knees come into your chest. Rock yourself up as high as you can. Make both feet next to each other. You're reaching your hands and arms long, and then you're gonna reach your hands towards your toes. If you need to modify, you can grab your shins at the top and then reach. If not, you reach your hands towards your feet, and then you reach out nice and long. Out and in right here. You have one change left and we're back into your legs. Finish this nice and strong right here. Finish it nice and strong. Pull your lower belly in. So much ab work here. You've progressed it. You should be warm. You should feel really strong though. You have five, four and a hold, three, two, on one. Reach your hands long. Reach your toes wrong. long. Bring your hands behind your head. Go into your bicycles. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right. If this doesn't feel good, stay center for me right here or go into your taps. Reach, reach. Can you go slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. This is your finisher right here. If the bicycles are not feeling good, you'll go into those X crunches or those regular ones. Beautiful, Jay. I want your bicycle slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. You've got this slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. Final 10 seconds and you're out of your abs. You're fighting right here. Do not end in a break. Final five seconds, four to go. Last three, two, one one and you rest beautiful rock yourself right up to that seated position bring your feet behind you you get to find a cat cow just to stretch everything out drop your belly button down look to see where that ceiling meets the wall and then roll everything up get one more in right here before we finish class lower it down good big lift up right here come back to that neutral spine for me last plank of class walk your right foot out left foot out Right where you started is where you are finishing in those planks before we stand. You are gonna give me four shoulder taps, four shoulder taps, and then you are gonna give me four of your plank jacks. If you need to walk, you are walking here and that's fine. You'll just walk out, out, in, in. Four shoulder taps, four plank jacks. Four shoulder taps, four plank jacks. Walk your feet out if you need to. If it's too much to jump, do not jump. Take your time here. Take it back to that more traditional movement. If that is too much, you drop to your knees and you give me shoulder taps with plank up downs and stay on your knees. I need you working for this last 25 seconds and then we stand for the final two minutes. So this is where you're fighting abs, arms, legs, full body is moving here. Four shoulder taps. Watch yourself right here. Here's when your butt's gonna sneak up. Don't let it sneak up. Olivia, those look great. You've got it, Kara. Four shoulder taps and then walk those feet out, out, in, in. Here we go, five seconds and you're out of it. Find your plank in four, three, two, find your plank, lift your hips right here. Press your heels down towards the mat. Start walking your hands into your feet, feet into your hands. Big inhale, exhale. You are gonna start slowly rolling yourself all the way up and you are gonna grab your weight. Last two minutes right here. Grab your weights for me. Heels together, toes apart, finish out your thighs. From here, bring your weights into your hands. Let's get our legs under control before we add those arms in. I want you to lift to the balls of your feet. Reconnect your heels. Very basic traditional movement to finish us out. Sink down that imaginary wall. Can you come one inch lower? I need your heels squeezing together as tightly as you can. Heels are so high, you've got this. Arms come out in front of you here. Good, hold for me. You're gonna pulse down an inch, up an inch. Keep your arms out nice and wide in front of you. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch and up an inch. Don't cheat right here, you're gonna be tired. I need you fighting to get your heels as high as you can get them. I care more about your heel height than I do about those weights. Those weights are gonna help your balance. Heels are lifted. Can you come a little lower here? Down an inch, up an inch down an inch. Now start to speed it up right here. We press, press. We are bringing those thighs to that nice little shaky feeling to finish right at the end. You've got it. Press, press. Beautiful. Tiny presses. Can you press your arms out as you press down? 
Bend and press. Grab that giant beach ball. Bend and press. Bend and press. You've got it. Bend and press. Ten and a hold. You are coming down an inch. You are pulsing those arms out an inch right here. Press. Press as you pulse for me for five, four, three, two. Hold on one. Now you are going to go up an inch, down an inch with your arms. Up an inch, down an inch. Can you start to press your knees back as you pulse your arms up? Yes. Press them back. Good. Press and lift. Press and lift. You've got it. Eight and seven. Six more here. Five. Don't drop those arms. Four. Good. Three. Last two. Hold on one. Sink down one more inch. Squeeze those weights together. Elbows are wide. Here's where you finish. 20 seconds in a hold. Do not drop. Heels come up a little bit higher. Sink down one inch lower. Elbows are wide. Squeeze your weights. This is where you finish. This is where you finish. 10 seconds. Short. It looks good. Hold on to it. Nice, Emma. Hold, 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 hold. Who can get their heels up higher? Beautiful form, Amy. Everyone down one inch. Three seconds. Grace, Lindsay, get there right now. Both of you. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. You made it. As I yell at you, don't lose it yet. <laughs> Bring those arms up overhead for me. Drop your weights. Drop your weights. Sorry. Bring your hands behind your head. Give me a couple good mornings here. Shift your hips to the back of that room and then lift all the way up. Shift. And lift. Beautiful. You've got four of these right here. Nice work. Final three. And lift. Good. Two. And lift. Last one. Come all the way up. Hands reach up overhead. Right wrist comes into your hand. Pull it over to that left side. Quick stretch for us today because we went over. Grab that opposite wrist. Pull it over. Back through center. Find that soft back bend. And as always, find that great big bow. You made it. Nice work. How are we feeling? As I yelled at you, sorry, but you, you're, you're all friends here. <laughs> you're like, I, I was like, no, there's just seconds. I'm always targeted, don't worry. I feel like I'm the only one who drops her weight. <sighs> no, I was like, oh my God, this is the end. I was hot yeah. today. Um, my girls who did arms and abs um, Thursday, I feel like your arms are probably jelly. Stretch your inner thighs. We did actually a lot of inner thighs, so. 40 roll me out. <laughs> Who's that? What? I said I already need to roll out. <laughs> oh, God. All right, ladies. So um, tomorrow I'm not teaching. I'll post schedule for next week. We'll still do a couple 645s, 8s, 10s, and then 530. Um, but let me know if you guys have any requests or any focuses that you want to do, and we'll add them in. Yay. Love those pieces. Yeah. Happy Saturday. Bye, Matt.